Hello Capricorn, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of July 17th through July 24th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Okay, I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. And if you weren't a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Thank you guys very much for everything you do. And check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Alright, this doesn't resonate. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Capricorn, 17 through 24 July love reading. July 17 through 24 love reading Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. Girl, so somebody wants to be free. Mm. Okay, this freedom is uh, basically is uh, not looking like a wise decision. Or people are looking at you, yeah, like it's not a wise decision. Yeah, so people are telling you over and over that something that you're about to try to trying to be free from is not a good idea. Okay. Mm. So it seems like whatever you're doing, you're leaving to do something or be with something that is gonna be draining you emotionally. Not not emotionally, but physically somebody is trying to use you that's you're leaving one situation to go to another situation that is going to take you into a deeper darker place okay hmm okay so i feel like it's not known to everybody right now that you want to do it but it's known to some people and the people that know are trying to keep you away from this. What is this secret? I gotta know what this secret is about. What is coming out? What is this moon about? Wow. Oh, okay, so you secretly got something going on. Of course, since you only telling a few people. All right, what is this unseen about? Wow. So whatever this is, you don't even trust your friends with it. You don't want anybody to know about this thing that you're trying to do. What are you trying to leave or why are you trying to leave? Okay. <laughs> but it's telling you to stop. Okay, maybe the Cleo cards that give us more, but I'm going to ask one more time. What is this unseen event about? What is this? What? I don't know why I feel like real scared right now unseen event what is this unseen event by now for capricorn july 17th through the okay all right so somebody is not looking at something for what it is hopefully this is telling us but okay so maybe you feel like somebody is violating your personal step space or boundaries or taboos or you're getting ready to do something like this okay all right july 17 through the 24th, 2017. Capricorn, July 17 through 24th, 2017. All right. What's going on, guys? Mm. Okay, so I feel like some of you are probably quitting your job, but you don't have nothing to fall back on. And quitting the third, yeah, somebody dipping out on everything. All right, I'm oh, sorry guys, let me read this straight out the book. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords. Is that a knight? Yes, that's the knight, and that's the sword. All right, the Knight of Swords says, uh, a lack of strategy, confidence, and self-imposed false sense of security. So this is like 
you feel like you're going to quit all this stuff and you're going to be okay. That's what's going on. Okay? All right. The three of coins reversed. It says, this card indicates silly work, um, <laughs> silly workplace rivalry, boredom with your position. So, yeah, somebody just getting sick of it. You know, sick of all the little tit for tat stuff at work, you know, pushing and pulling around, whatever. You know, just sick of everything. Okay, so I just went into La La Land for a second, but... I think for some of you, you debating by the six, you're going to leave. Just because we got those two threes up there, and those are the only two numbers. Or three months. All right, something like that. So we got the three of staffs. Staff, staff, staffs. Okay, this was hiding. A positive and complete end to an issue that plagued your emotions. So basically, once you leave these situations, you are going to feel better. I feel like for most of you, it is work. You're going to feel better, but it's like you're going to be couch to couch for a little while. Okay? All right, so we got the Queen of Coins. A time of economic balance and an enjoyment of luxury and comfort. A bright economic outlook. So I feel like for some of you, you're going to move back home to your family. Um, maybe back home with your parents. And then you're going to sit there and set up a plan of what you're going to do next. At least that's what your plan is to do. But leave your partner, leave your job. You're on a, I think it's mostly partner and you, I mean job, sorry. And you're going to go home and, and live with your family. So we got the king of staffs here. King of staffs. All right, where's my king at? All right, a strong person who is not afraid to lead. This person can listen and advise wisely. So this is, I feel like this is who you're going to be with. So are you going to be with somebody who can help you find guidance in what you need to do, where you're supposed to be doing, what is good for you, what isn't, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe you're just trying to look at your inner self. I didn't see the hermit anywhere, but... I don't know. Somebody just trying to find some structure. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, thank you, and I appreciate everybody for what you do. I truly love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Week. <laughs>